welcome once again guys to hyperbolic functions for grade 10 so before us we've got f of x is equal to 2 divided by x minus 4 and then we are asked to sketch the function so first and foremost our a equals to 2 we realize that our a is greater than 0 so our graph must be on the first and the third quadrant right and then secondly we're going to look at the intercept intercept and just take note of what i said that this is the y-axis, this is the x-axis. So the equation of this line is x is equal to 0. The equation of this line is y is equal to 0. Do you guys get that? Okay. So initially the y-intercept, the y-intercept of this graph, um, you're going to let x equals to 0 for the y-intercept because of that is where the graph is going to be cutting the line x equals to 0, right? So it's going to be f of 0 is equal to 2 divided by 0 minus 4. So now before we can go any further, you can just show this maybe in your working so that, you know, your teacher knows that this guy knew what he was doing or this girl knew what she was doing, right? Okay, so this here is undefined. So when you see that, for example, especially in um, hyperbolic functions, just know that f of x will not cut the um, uh, so the y-intercept f of x will not cut the y-axis, right? That is what is important for you guys to know here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, fine. And then now let us continue. What about the x-intercept? The x-intercept. For the x-intercept, we are looking at where the function is going to cut the x-axis, right? So here you're going to let, you're going to let, um, what, y equals to 0. In our case, you let f of x equals to 0. So 0 for f of x, or let me just write it, f of x, is equals to 2 divided by x minus 4. This is going to be 0 is equals to 2 divided by x minus 4. Then from this we're going to get 2 divided by x is equals to 4. Okay. And then we're just going to... It's 4 divided by 1. So this is going to be x divided by 2, which equals to 1 divided by 4. Do you guys get that? So x now is going to equal to... We're going to multiply by 2 here and multiply by 2 here. So x is going to equal to a half. Do you guys get that? Okay, fine. So now what this means is that the x-intercept is 1 over 2 and 0. That is for hyperbolic functions. Um, this is the y-intercept. In other words, the, this function is going to cut the x-axis at x is equal to a half. Do you guys get that? And now, guys, let's look at asymptotes. The asymptotes, um, my younger brother said, asymptotes are the imaginary lines that the graph approaches but never touches. You know what I'm saying? So f of x is equal to um, 2 divided by x minus 4. So basically, um, for the vertical asymptote, for you, grade 10, the vertical asymptote is x is equal to 0. Do you guys get that? Then the horizontal asymptote. The vertical asymptote is like this, but it's x is equal to something. Yeah? The horizontal asymptote is like this, but it's y is equal to something. So y is going to equal to q. What is our q? There is our q, negative 4. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so at this point in time, I think we are ready to sketch the function. You know what I'm saying? So we are ready to sketch the function. Then there's the y-axis, there's the x-axis, the y, and then the x there. And then here, let's say this is y is equal to negative 4. This is the horizontal asymptote. And then this guy is the vertical asymptote. x is equal to 0, right? So now let's, it's time to roll. So the function is going to cut this guy here at 1 over 2. You know? So there is our function. There is our function like this. 
you know what i'm saying so this is our function of f of x now you can see that all right fine so now what is the domain of this function what is the domain what do you think is the domain of this function so x right so from remember this is an, uh, negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 negative 4 negative 5 negative 6 you go to, to negative infinity so x is an element of real numbers right however x is not equal to 0 because the function is not defined here you know what i'm saying that's why i said the asymptotes help you here because remember when we tried to put x equals to 0 in the function it was undefined do you guys get that so now that is why for the domain um our x is not supposed to equals to zero or you can write it like like this right you can write whichever way is gonna help you to sleep at night you know what i'm saying and then lastly guys not lastly actually the range of the function you know the function is defined from negative infinity we go up 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 until here here the function is not defined even though this line is here this asymptote is here but the function is not going to touch the, this line hence um it's not defined here then Im immediately after that the function is defined so now the range right so f of x f of x is an element of real numbers however f of x cannot equals to negative 4 so this is your range or you can say y is an element from negative infinity to negative 4 you do not include that hence you have brackets like this but if you're including it you're gonna put square brackets then this is how you guys are gonna write it you know what i'm saying and then now if i can just ask you guys um as to what are what are the axes of symmetry you know write down the equation of the x of symmetry of this graph so you obviously know that there's going to be a line here this one these lines one of the lines have got a gradient of of positive one and one of the lines has got a gradient of negative one so that one does not change you know what i'm saying um what is going to change is this value whether the function was shifted or shifted or not remember here it's negative four in this case so for u grade tens so this is going to equals to y is equals to x plus um x plus c right to get this c here you're gonna take this coordinate here remember here it's negative four in sense it's zero for x and negative four for y you're gonna take this coordinate and put it here right so it's going to be negative 4 here is equals to 0 plus c so c is equals to negative 4 in other words or to make it easier for you great tens you just take grab that that is your um that is your y interface for this line so y is equals to x minus 4 that's the first line the second line is y is equals to minus x minus 4 you know what i'm saying so basically the distinction between the two lines is obviously the gradient here it's positive here it's negative right then this guy remains there you know it was unchanged unmoved the guy remained there so that is how guys we look at this thing you know what i'm saying and then i think you're gonna appreciate this as you like go further and further and stuff you know what i'm saying so i think let's do another example which is a bit different compared to this one okay so now we have a another function right we have got h of x right is equals to minus 3 over x plus 9 you know and then you are told to sketch the function and this function is different from the one we had a here is negative 3 so it means a is less than 0 do you guys get that um so what does this mean this means that our we expect our functions in this quadrant no not in this quadrant in this one and this one by reason of a being less than zero do you get that then let's look at the intercepts 
um, for the y-intercept, we're going to let x equals to 0. However, as you can see here, if we have h of 0, we're going to have negative 3 divided by 0 plus 9. And this is already undefined, so it has got none. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, the function, this means that h of x will not cut um what the y axis you know what i'm saying then the x intercept we let h of x equals to zero or y equals to zero right so um h of x is equals to zero which equals to negative three over x plus nine so we continue from there guys um so negative 3 over x, no, 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 negative 3 over x is equals to negative 9 in this case, right? Um, so we're gonna just going to sum them around. So this is going to be x divided by negative 3, right, is equals to 1 divided by negative 9, you know? So now to find x, x is, we're going to multiply by 3 on both sides. So x now will be... 3 over 9, so that is what? 1 over 3. So what is the x-intercept now, guys? The x-intercept, x-intercept is going to be 1 over 3 and what? And 0. This is where um, h of x will cut the x-axis. You know what I'm saying? And then the asymptote. Asymptote. It retains the vertical asymptote is x is equals to zero that is the um the y axis the horizontal asymptote we see it there um it's going to be y is equals to nine right so it's now time to draw the function or to sketch the function um so at y is equals to nine this is obviously not drawn to scale so here it's nine this is y this is x this is zero and our function is in this quadrant and in this quadrant you know so this is now our new origin right so what we have here is 1 over 3 remember this is this in the y the function does not cut then the domain now the domain the domain so this is where the function exists from negative infinity until zero we don't include zero we go 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 then when x is equal to zero the function is not defined then after that we go 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 up until infinity then the range the range same story um y from negative infinity you go up 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 you pass zero then until nine right then at nine we don't include nine and then from nine upwards to positive infinity this is the range of the function what about the axis of symmetry symmetry okay so we've got two of them the first one is y is equals to x okay so from here we've got a positive nine here plus nine the second one is y is equals to minus x plus nine you know what I'm saying? We just grabbed the 9 there. But be careful if you're doing grade 11 because in grade 11 you might have, you know, you will have a um, horizontal shift. You know what I'm saying? So you might, you are not just going to pick 9 or pick, you know, whatever that is there and just be like, hey, it is what it is, right? All right, guys. So that is how um, we look at these things. You know what I'm saying? So I trust that you guys actually appreciate the the whole sense of these uh, functions you know what i'm saying so um if i can just put it out there um let's say for example um you had a function of this nature so this is done now so let's say you had this function right here then it was going like this and like this and then somewhere you had one and one you know what i'm saying and then 
what you were told and then this is negative one you were told that this is a function of f of x is equals to a divided by x plus 2. so from this function that is drawn here can you fill in the values here so that you can find a and q so obviously f of x is equals to a you don't know a divided by x but what about q q is here right is the horizontal asymptote negative one negative one ne? and then now to find a you need the value for y and the value for x which is that one there so you're just going to be like one is equals to a divided by one which equals to negative one in this case no 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 sorry a one divided by one minus one then you're going to take this guy this other side um so a is going to equals to two so your your function now is f of x is equals to two divided by x minus one so this is the graph so being given the graph you guys need to be able to find um the actual you guys need to be able to find the actual uh, function you know what i'm saying um and also as you know that your function must be in this order and f of x is equals to a divided by x plus q for you grade tens okay guys we just sum up um hyperbolic functions now to stay blessed and have a fantastic day if you've got any questions that you would like me to do especially for you i can even say your name or put your picture if you want just um send me an email or comment below and then i can do obviously a question for you any question that you'd like me to do just stay listening and have a fantastic day nati from south africa signing out